the audacity of the AI TI posts. If you don't know what that means, it means am I the a-hole? Am I the a-hole for logging into my friend's email account and declining her university's offer of admission? Well, I can just answer before reading anything. Yes. Please do not judge. Oh, well, too late. I promise you that there is much more to it than what the title says. Ever since I was a child, I always dreamed of studying abroad. Luckily for me, my parents are financially stable and can afford sending me abroad in order to gain such a valuable experience. However, there is one catch. That is, I must go with a friend of mine as they won't send me there alone. I thought this wasn't a problem since I have been planning to go with my friend to country X. This month, things changed. My friend and I applied to two universities in different countries. My friend got accepted to both of them, but I only did to one. When my friend got accepted to the university in country Y, she told me that there is a possibility she will go there instead as she has relatives there that will allow her to stay in their house without her having to pay rent. I was heartbroken by the news. How could she do this to me? She knows how much I want to study abroad and is well aware of the fact that my parents will not let me go alone. I told my parents about this and they assured me that if there is no other person I can go with, then I will be studying here instead. I could not let this happen. Although she didn't say she's going to do it for sure yet, I need a definite answer or else I'll be stressed about it. My friend once told me her password on a game we play and I tried to see if she has the same password for her email and it turns out she does. So I logged in and rejected her admission offer and logged out. My friend still doesn't know this, but she will soon. I told my parents about it to assure them that my friend will now be going with me, but they got so upset on me and are now threatening me that they are going to call my friend's parents and tell them what I did. They want to do it in case she still has the email from the university so she can still kind of email them and maybe go. In the end, I told them to let me tell her instead and they agreed to, although I don't think I will. You are making yourself look worse, I'm telling you. Now that you guys know why I did this, do you think I am the a-hole here? What's my fault for being forced to go with a friend? You are definitely the a-hole. Every part of everything you said was about you, selfishly, was not about what's best for your friend, and you did something really sketchy and wrong, and you're not even gonna tell her. Am I the a-hole for not thinking the joke my family played on my girlfriend was a big deal? They labeled you the a-hole, but we will give you another review. I, 25 male, have a girlfriend, 23 female, who is absolutely beautiful, but she does have a lot. I don't like that there was a butt coming after that, but she does have a large facial scar. My family often jokes about it. They have a super dark sense of humor. It bothers my girlfriend and she says it doesn't feel like a joke. It feels like she's being insulted under the pretense of it being dark humor. Even though I explain it's just how they are and they don't mean any harm, that's a red flag. She doesn't really want to be around them. I told her it was really important to me. We spend Christmas with my family. She resisted at first, but after some urging from me, she gave in. She said I absolutely could not excuse their behavior if they made a rude comment about her though. You should not want your family making rude comments about her though, but okay. We got there and it was fine for a while. Then my mom and sister broke out their matching ugly sweaters that had my girlfriend's face all over it. They both laughed, saying my mom made them screen printed and it was just a joke. My dad thought it was hilarious. I even chuckled a little because she's really beautiful. So it was ironic they put her on the ugly sweater. My girlfriend looked at me and when I said they were just being ironic, she shook her head, got up and left. Didn't say anything to anyone, just took her car and left. I called her several times and she didn't answer. The only text I received was, you need to find your own way home. That pissed me off. Of course it did. And I called her a couple more times. The whole time my mom was upset because it was just a joke and didn't realize my girlfriend was going to overreact like that. Oh, now you're just deciding that she's overreacting. I told her that a warning would have been nice, but my sister agreed it was just a joke and my girlfriend was being a baby about it. I had another fight with my girlfriend when I finally got home and she said I was an a-hole for putting her in that situation. And I said I didn't realize they were going to do that and that they they were being ironic because she was beautiful. 
She said I let them treat her badly and was trying to make it her fault when it was my family who was acting badly. I said I was sorry. She was offended by the joke, but she ruined the whole day with her reaction. She said that no, them realizing she wasn't going to take their baloney anymore ruined the day. We aren't speaking currently, but when a cousin called to wish me a Merry Christmas and asked how the day went, I mentioned what happened and he straight up called me an a-hole for doing that to her. I really don't think I've done anything wrong though. Narcissist. I didn't know they were going to do that and really it was just a joke and I think she's overreacting. Am I really the a-hole here? Yeah. To be honest, your whole family are a-holes, so the apple didn't fall too far from the tree. I'm trying to like keep this PG. I'm trying to remain calm, but let me... That would not be my man anymore. Am I the a-hole for refusing to bow to my Korean fiance's grandparents? <gasps> the internet labeled them. You see it there, the stamp. They labeled them an a-hole. My fiance is Korean American and I am American. We've met each other's parents before and she's met my grandparents, but I've yet to meet her grandparents because they live in Korea. We are planning a trip to Korea as soon as it's possible so that I can meet her grandparents. She's asking me to bow to her grandparents when we meet since respecting the elders is a big deal in Korean culture. Not just like a casual dip, like a full on 90 degree bow. I said I'd rather not since I found it emasculating and that I just don't bow to anybody. She said that it was important for her culture but I pointed out that she didn't bow to my grandparents or parents. I just think it's hypocritical to expect me to bow to her grandparents when she didn't bow to mine. Her grandparents aren't my superior just because of their age. Why should I have to bow? She said it was just one tiny thing I could do to earn their respect, but I said if it was so tiny, it should just be fine if I don't do it. And that I respect myself and that's why I'm not going to bow and she was just going to have to respect my decision. She thinks I'm an a-hole for that. Am I the a-hole? I don't personally find that to be emasculating or anything, but out of respect for your fiance and her culture and you're going to spend the rest of your life with her like you should already be on the same page before you're engaged that's like a little concerning to me all right this one says not the a-hole i 29 female dated a guy joe 30 male for three months before he left me to go back to his ex Kim, who is 30. Right after we broke up, I found out I was pregnant and now I'm at 24 weeks. I let him know and he was ecstatic. Turns out his girlfriend had fertility issues and would likely never be able to get pregnant naturally and he has always wanted to be a father. Getting back together was out of the question for both of us, so he's still with his girlfriend. Joe was only allowed at the initial appointment because of COVID-19 and we found out I was having twins. According to Joe, when he told Kim, she had a mental breakdown about her infertility and wanted to talk to me. I met them at their house and Kim stated that she wanted to be involved in my pregnancy because she would eventually be the children's stepmother. She started telling me that I needed to do a home birth, that I needed to formula feed so that they could have the babies half the week, and that she wanted one boy and one girl, and that she wanted the kid to call her mama since they would be calling me mama. Mommy, I shut her down and said I would make the best choices for my children and my body and left. Kim continued to be overbearing and texted me every day about my eating habits, exercise habits, and complaining about how her job wouldn't let her take maternity leave. At the virtual genetics counseling appointment, she attended instead of Joe <gasps> and took over the whole meeting trying to talk about her family history, which wasn't relevant. When it came time for my 20 week level two scan, they allowed me one guest and Joe suggested I take him instead of him, which I refused to do. Joe did end up coming and he found out the gender because I wanted to keep it a surprise for me so we could throw a gender reveal party. I put a pregnancy announcement on my social media and then she put up an announcement saying they were expecting twins the non-traditional way and how blessed she was. I was irritated, but I kept my mouth shut. Then she threw a gender reveal party <gasps> and posted it on social media. I wasn't even invited. She also announced that she's having a baby shower. I commented on her post and told her to stop treating me like a surrogate, that the kids weren't hers, and that Joe didn't have any claim or custody of the kids until they are born. I then called Joe and reiterated all of this and stated that I would not be seeing either of them until we went to family court and that my mother would be my birthing partner. He and Kim and some of her friends and family are saying I'm the a-hole and her mother even called and insisted I give her 
one of my babies. Like this is parent trap. So am I the a-hole? No. My heart goes out to Kim in the sense that she is having infertility issues. That is where all of this is coming from for her, which I can understand to a point. But this is so beyond inappropriate. You are not the a-hole. That is so inappropriate. Am I the a-hole for permanently deleting my girlfriend's Instagram? <laughs> <laughs> Ballsy move, Mama Ann. My girlfriend, 24, and I, 27, have been dating for five years now. I don't have any social media, no Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, etc. I'm a private guy and like to keep my personal life to myself. My girlfriend, on the other hand, she is obsessed with Instagram. She has over 800 photos posted on Instagram and is constantly scrolling through Instagram every waking moment when she's not working or sleeping. She would rather spend time attention seeking from her 5,000 plus followers than spend some quality time with me. I confronted her a few times about this in the last few years and she always tells me she'll cut down on her Instagram usage but never did. Last week she was using my laptop because her laptop was at the store and noticed she forgot to log out of her email. I did the forgot password thing and reset her password to log in. I googled how to delete Instagram and followed the link and deleted the account. She woke up the next morning and started screaming and crying about how I permanently deleted her Instagram instead of deactivating it and that I betrayed her trust. Now she won't talk to me because she says she can't recover Instagram and her profile of 10 years is lost forever. I think she's being incredibly childish and throwing a tantrum over some random app. Am I the a-hole? Yeah, you are. If you guys aren't living a, the same lifestyle and you have such a problem with her on social media all the time and you know, that's where her attention is, then you guys need to talk about that. And if she can't make the changes you need, then leave. Even if I wasn't a content creator, I love looking at all like the date, the comments, the captions from like my personal life. I don't know, it's like your own little diary of images. Yeah, I'd be pissed. Am I the a-hole for throwing out my friend's body count board? I live in an apartment unit at university with three of my friends. We get along just fine in every aspect except for one dude who does this absolutely disgusting thing. Friend thinks it's funny or cool to pin his used protection pieces, we will call them, on a bulletin board to show off all the times he has had intimacy. I've asked him a million times to take it down or put it in his own room, but he leaves it up in the main living room area for everyone to see. In his defense, he washes the things, cleans, and dries them. The bulletin board itself is really big and really expensive. He designed it with Supreme stickers and a bunch of other things on it too. There is six pieces in total on the board. He doesn't seem to understand that I don't care if he washes them or not. It's an eyesore and it's disgusting to leave up for everyone to see. Yesterday, a girl I've been talking to asked to come over to study with me at my place and watch a movie afterward. I was super duper excited because this never happens to me, so before I left, to class, I made sure to hide the bulletin board and clean up the place. Later that night, she came over and she wandered around looking at our dorm while I went to wash my hands. When I came back, the bulletin board was back on the wall and she was staring at it. Nothing is more of a mood killer than that kind of bulletin board. She looked really uncomfortable and she asked me what it was. I got so nervous and choked up, I turned bright red and explained what it was to her. The rest of the night was awkward and she didn't even stay to watch a movie. I took the bulletin board down after she left, smashed it into pieces and threw it into the dumpster behind our building. The person asked me where the board was today and I told him exactly what I did with it. I do feel bad for reacting that way, but I was angry and on the body count board was bound to be thrown out one way or another. A-I-T-A. -A. Like the more I think about it, like you, okay, you do the intimacy, you keep it, it's full, you put it in your pocket or Ziploc and bring it home, go to the sink and, no, there is no, no, there is, it's so wrong. <laughs> I don't agree with destroying people's property, of course, but like I understand. I don't think you were being an a-hole. Am I the a-hole for being proud of doing my job well but causing my parents to be made redundant in the process. I work with a consulting company that basically automates people out of jobs. In the past financial year, we're directly responsible for X thousands of people being made redundant and saving companies fat stacks of money. This came to an awkward scenario. We did an audit of a local industrial company that my parents work at. Ew. After the review, we found we could cut over 60 jobs. The result based on metrics and my work was that my parents were part of this mass redundancy. I was not allowed to give my parents a heads up. 
After the news, my parents were and are livid at me. They're telling me I have no loyalty to them and should have fudged numbers to keep them there because they're not going to find new jobs at their age. They asked on how I can sleep at night knowing I put them out of work. I told them that I take my job seriously, do my job well, and I'm proud of doing a good job. You probably don't want to see your parents in that position, but at the same time, you don't want to lose your job. Am I the a-hole for giving my girlfriend's cat away? I don't know how you're going to talk your way out of this one. My girlfriend and I have been together since we were 13. We're 20 now. And she's had her cat for the duration of our relationship. I'm going to go ahead and say this now. I don't care for cats. <laughs> since I'm allergic to them and hers was no exception. I'm not really an animal person in general, but if I were to get one, it wouldn't be a cat. They're disgusting and they creep me out. Well, why are you dating someone who has a cat? My girlfriend and I moved in together at 18 and I was always under the impression that she would leave the cat with her parents, okay, since she knew how much I didn't like them. Okay, so that's why you dated her. Long story short, the cat came with her and while I wasn't thrilled about it, I allowed it to stay under the conditions that it wouldn't sleep in our bed, it wouldn't sit on the furniture, and it wouldn't go into my office space. Over the course of the last two years, I would come home from work and my girlfriend would be chilling on the couch with the cat after I'd asked her not to. I'd get ready to climb into bed and there'd be a cat hair on my sheet so I know she let it into the bedroom. Not to mention, she has what I feel like is an unhealthy obsession with this thing. <laughs> She's constantly talking to and cooing at it like it's a person and it drives me up the wall. Oh, we would never be friends. My dog is a human. Like we're best, like she's like a sister to me. I, I tell her everything, but okay. For a while, I just slept in my office. Oh, that's so dramatic. So I wouldn't have to deal with an itchy face and puffy eyeballs. Okay, allergies, understandable. With us being stuck at home now, it's even harder for me to have my own space. The straw that broke the camel's back was when I went into my office and found her cat sitting in the window. I've asked time and time again for her cat to stay out of my space and I feel like she deliberately disrespects my wishes. So I found a walk-in surrender shelter today and dropped the cat off. I haven't told my girlfriend and being that it's an indoor outdoor cat, I hope she just thinks it ran away. I love my girlfriend, but her cat was legitimately our only source of conflict. That is so awful. Like that is so not your place. If you loved your girlfriend and you knew how much she loved that cat, you would have never done that. Oh God, this one is so, so bad. It started off terribly and got worse. Pretty much the entire family is not speaking to each other and or in therapy. Basically, this woman asked if she should stand her ground by not letting her brother-in-law stay with her because last time he stayed, he peed all over her stuff. She only found out because she installed the secret camera. The obvious answer is no. However, some of Reddit's answers inspired the woman's husband to go chat with his brother, but when he arrived at the empty house, he found there was pee everywhere. Also, copious amount, I can't even say that copious amounts of personal cream. I don't know what else is it. It's so gross, like why? I'm out of here, I'm leaving. End of video. I don't wanna think about this ever again. <laughs> stay classy out there, stay sassy, and I will see you tomorrow.